guys, and thanks to everyone who's been watching the Taste of Tennille episodes. You may or may not have noticed, but I've basically just been cooking a bunch of my favorite dishes while I've been in isolation. Things I have wanted for a while or haven't had in a while. And today I'm gonna to share with you some amazing breakfast quiche. So for this part, we need a cupcake tray, spray grease, so nothing sticks to it. And I have my oven on 220 Celsius. So, sorry, but you have to look up the Fahrenheit again. And what we need is about three sheets of a puff pastry. Usually they come frozen, so you just have to let them sit out for a little bit. And then something that's a circle shape, I'm using my protein shake lid, because why not? And we're gonna use that as a stencil, basically. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here. You just place it down, probably need about three sheets of puff pastry, and you can literally use this or a knife to cut around it. But this, if you press it hard enough, works just fine. And we get this. And that goes into our cupcake pan. We just press it down evenly around the edges like this. And that creates basically our shell for the quiche and our filling goes inside that and I like to just stick a couple holes in the bottom so that some air gets in it doesn't all rise when it's being cooked but this is one of the best parts of this because it's so buttery and adds that flaky crispiness when it's done why well, would you look at that somebody has a whisk today turns out it was here the whole time so I have whisked together my eggs and I'm going to add cream into that, which I'll do right now. Stay. So traditionally I would use, for a 12 tray of quiche, I would use 600 mils of thickened cream and six full eggs and whisk it all together. And then you can add whatever types of uh, herb, salt and pepper for sure to this to make it tasty. So for me today, I've gone with Oh, that's a lot. I've gone with, what was that? Herbed sea salt. It sounds delicious though. So basically I have gone for three full eggs and I've used a light thickened cream and not even the whole tub. And I've put some egg whites in there too. So it's gonna be a little lower on the fats in this part, but I'm also gonna add the bacon and the cheese, um, which is gonna add some flavors and saltiness as well. So. I think I'm good with this still. These are some mixed herbs. Put in whatever you want. Whatever you would put in like a scrambled egg or a breakfast dish, this is it. This bowl is way too small for this, by the way. So maybe um, use a little bigger bowl. Basically, whisk it all together and that is your egg mix ready to go. And other than the cheese and bacon, I have capsicum, which is red pepper, and onions. You can literally mix whatever you want. Um, Zucchini is good in this. People use carrots. Uh, what else? I don't know. can't think. Um, tomato. You can use tomato. You can do them without meat. But this is what I'm using today because this is what I had in the fridge. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's however you want to do it, whatever ingredients you have. I'm going to put onion in the base, cover that with some red peppers or a capsicum, and then cover that with my shortcut bacon and cheese. And then basically once the, all that the base is in, we cover it with the egg mixture. So go to town whatever order and whatever ingredients you like. And now we put our egg mixture in. This is probably not the best. I need a jug really, because this is probably gonna go everywhere. But just kind of slowly pour it in over top of the mixtures until it's near the top, not overflowing. All right, nice. We're doing it. Once that's done, chuck them in the oven for about 20 minutes. 
You might need to turn them around, keep an eye on them, make sure they're cooking evenly in the oven, but you'll be able to tell when they're ready because they're gonna puff up for starters, but the golden uh, crispy edges of the puffed pastry is a good sign. The smell is amazing when they're close to being ready. And about 20 minutes should do it anyway. And they're out. They've puffed up a ton, but they're about to settle back down. And look at those brown, crispy, buttery edges. So good. And the cheese, they look amazing. They came out so perfect. I'm so happy with them. And look, they didn't stick at all. This beautiful brown crust, buttery, flaky, cheesy eggs, everything all in one. It's like the ultimate dish. Cheers. But it's still really hot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh.